Uh, thank you guys for coming to the show. My name is Joe Wengert. I'm very comfortable. Uh, in earth tones. What do you guys need to know about me? Well, I'm a work in progress. Now, one thing I'm trying to work on right now is I'm trying to have normal interactions with people that I know when I see them in public and I did not expect to see them. That's a trouble area for me. So I saw my friend Jake earlier today. I knew I was gonna see Jake today. I don't know if I'll see Jake tomorrow. But hopefully if I do, I'll just be like, hey man, what's up? Cause that's appropriate. It would be inappropriate if I see him and I go, I'm just gonna go get some mac and cheese real quick before therapy. No, he doesn't need to know all that. I'm just gonna go get some mac and cheese from this place called Cuckoo Roo real quick before therapy. I don't need to put the burden of that information onto him. But the sad fact of the matter is, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that I have recently said to a real human being. <laughs> and to make matters worse, it was not my friend Jake. It was a girl. She was in a yoga outfit because she knows how to take care of herself. <laughs> she was like, hey, Joe, how's it going? I was like, oh, I'm just going to go get some mac and cheese real quick <laughs> before therapy because I'm a monster. I was proud of myself when I started going to therapy, but I also felt a little bit of shame because of how I found my first therapist, and this is what I did. I went on the website for my insurance provider, and I looked up all the therapists in my neighborhood. So far, normal. You know how I picked a therapist from that group of names? Funniest name. <laughs> Funniest name. That's not a mature way to make that decision. And that's why the first time I sat down to talk with somebody, I sat down with Dr. Mark Barkopoulos. Because I was like, in my mind, he sounds like he's gonna be a giant anthropomorphic dog who is also of Greek descent. Sitting there laughing it alone in my apartment. Like, hey, I came here to learn how to better express my emotions, not to toss around this old lamb bone, Dr. Barkopoulos. <laughs> um, I do have a practical tip for anyone who is in therapy right now. Um, if you wear a wig to therapy, and then a couple minutes into it, you're like, JK, you take the wig off. <laughs> He's still going to want to talk about it. <laughs> for like, for most of the session. It will dominate that session. He'll be like, why did you do that? These behaviors are significant. So if you haven't been able to tell at this point in my set, I'm a single person. I'm feeling ready to jump back into the dating scene, but I have a couple of questions that I need to have answered first. I was hoping one of the women here tonight might be able to help me. Ma'am, would you help me with one of the questions that I have? It, don't be afraid, I'm a jelly bean. You'll be fine, okay? <laughs> this is not even comedy now. I just need a friend. I just need an honest answer. You got it? Okay. So here's the thing. How long should a guy wait before he shows a girl all of his Princess Diana stuff. <laughs> a while? All right, I've been doing it wrong then. I need to cool my jets. Because I usually lead with my Princess Diana collection. Because it's good. I like to do that joke early where you guys are still like, that might be real. 
So 